Yep, McCracken receiving some more attention on those cuts between rounds. This is number seven. Tim Ryan, Joe Clancy, Ray Leonard with Thomas Hearns having a lot of difficulty against Jeff McCracken. He knocked him down twice in the second round, and he has certainly been dominating the fight, but McCracken has showed how tough he is. For that six round, Tim, I just knew it was over for McCracken, but I'll take my head off to the guy. The guy was really a tough opponent. Hearns showing now some signs of fatigue, as he did in round six. He got arm worry, no doubt about it. The mouth started to show open, and you can see that again already. Had to be a little discouraging for him, right? What does it feel like when you're tattooing a guy like he was, and, and nothing's really happening? Well, when I fought time in the sixth round, I punched myself out with a very arm worry, and it took me two rounds to uh, get back together. And let's see what Hearns does here against Jeff McCracken, but McCracken should be taking advantage of that fact. He just hasn't been busy enough there. He tried that right-hand lead, and he landed it. The right hand seems up dazed, Tony. Hearns trying to... The back and should get off now. He's waiting a little too long to get off. Sometimes you say to yourself, this really can't be happening. Am I hurting Tommy Hearns? I think he did hurt him that time. Seventh round, scheduled for 10. Now, McCracken should be continuing to rush, Tommy. Just doesn't get off quick enough, Ray. Again, we'd like to alert our local stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll be going to a 30-second station break. That hook landed from McCracken. A little blood from the nose of Hearns again. That was a good shot. McCracken threw to Tommy's body. He should throw more of those. He has to let it all hang out. That's what he has to do the way young Ray Mancini did yesterday. Didn't worry about getting tired. Didn't worry about anything. As hot as it was, he just threw those punches. That's the only chance that Jeff McCracken has in this fight. Well, McCracken is starting to uh, pick up the pace a little bit more. And he's got, starting to put more body shots now. That's for the body left in the head, and Hearns countered back with a right hand. It scored. Under a minute to go, round seven. Referee Harry Papakaralumbus has been doing a fine job throughout this fight. Practically invisible presence, letting the two boxers work. Ray, is there any special punch that you'd throw if you were McCracken to get yourself inside? Well, that left jab, and uh, he has a stiff left jab deal. I think the left jab would get McCracken closer to Tommy. But he, all he does is parries. He kicks it out. He flares it out. Meanwhile, Hearns continues to snap his jab effectively under 30 seconds to go round seven. Snapping back the head of McCracken at will. McCracken has stopped punching. Slip punches. He just slipped the left jab and he didn't punch. But a great opportunity. We'll return with more boxing after this word from your local station. 500 grueling. Looking into the corner of the of uh, McCracken, and you see Eddie Aliano, his cut man, working on that same cut and doing a pretty good job here as we begin round number eight. Two weary warriors come out there now, both of them not exactly leaping off the stools, but Hearns in much the better shape. Tim, it's about time. Around. It's about time if you're in good condition to get your second wind, and if Tommy Hearns or McCracken gets a second wind, they could really be very, very effective. Real fancy with Sugar Ray Leonard, Tim Ryan, live on CBS Sports Sunday, and round middleweight bout, the third of his career for Thomas Hearns. You know about that second win, Ray. You, you, you threw quite a bit of punches in the sixth round with Tommy, then you took it easy a couple of rounds, and all of a sudden you were fresh as a daisy again. That's true, Gil. It took me about a one or two rounds just to, to really get my second win, and by then, I was good as new. Back and trying to get inside, and again, Hearns jabbing effectively to keep him out. Tim, but what he does, he gets in pretty good position, but he doesn't get off. He doesn't move his hands. He has to move both hands, take his chances. I don't like when McCracken's reaching when he's trying to land punches on Tommy because he, the right hand, he's vulnerable for the overhand right each time. Burns just landed it and reopened that cut. Over the left eye of McCracken. McCracken is starting to look very, very weary and very tired and he's hurt. He's wobbled again on a combination from Hearns. Legs starting to he's, go under McCracken. He's ready now, Tim. Back to get Can't go low. much further. Hearns sensing it, banging to the he body. Can't go much the referee further. watching it, saying, that's it, he can do no more. Couldn't get the hands up. It is a knockout victory in the eighth round for Thomas Hearns. And a standing ovation from the Partisan Crown in Kobo Arena. A combination out in the middle of the ring seemed to really stun.